What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Duke versus Vermont college basketball matchup going down Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get to this one between Duke and Vermont. And this is a uh, an interesting matchup, the 413 matchup in the South region of the NCAA tournament. As you've got the Duke Blue Devils on behalf, obviously the ACC coming in 24 and 8 on the year, while uh, Vermont comes in repping the America East once again. John Becker doing a fantastic job with the Catamounts, 28 and 6 this season, where Vermont. Uh, absolutely dominated the America East. They went 15-1 and in conference, dominated Albany, New Hampshire, and UMass Lowell to win the America East title and punch Vermont's ticket to the NCAA tournament for the third straight season, uh, fifth in the last six years and sixth in the last eight. Um, Vermont has been the, the measure of consistency. They've been the measuring stick in the America East for the last few years, like I said. Um, but the thing for me here is that, you know, Vermont does have some tournament games against teams, or excuse me, have games against teams, tournament teams. Teams like Charleston, they beat on a neutral floor by nine points. Um, they lost to Colgate by six. Um, but outside of that, they hadn't really been challenged. They beat Yale by a point at home. Um, but they hadn't really been challenged all that much. Other wins teams over teams like Merrimack, St. Louis. Um, they lost to Liberty and Bradley. Liberty was on a neutral floor. They lost by 10, lost to Bradley by nine. Lost to Virginia Tech on the road by 22. Um, lost to Miami, Ohio on the road, beat Toledo and Brown on the road as well, but not, not an overly impressive um, uh, non-conference schedule. And the problem for, um, for, for Vermont here is, once again, depth. Um, you know, Matt Barreto, you know, looks like he's going to be out with, for this game with an injury. Brenton Mills has been banged up. You know, um, Aaron Deloney hasn't seen a ton of action, but looks like he's going to you know, start to pick up his, uh, his minutes as well. But even at full strength, this Vermont team, they don't run with a deep lineup. You know, they have four players that have seen, you know, 23% of the possessions this, excuse me, 20 plus percent of the possessions this season. They have a bunch of guys that have been role players, but outside of that, you know, they run a lineup that's about seven or eight guys deep. And the tallest guy they use is 6'8 in, uh, you know, Nick Fiorillo and uh, Aero, excuse me, Larry Iofalele. And, Vermont, like I said, they're just a very they're they're a short team. They're 217th in average height nationally. Duke, their key guys, Kyle Filipowski, Mark Mitchell, both six nine or taller. Obviously, Filipowski at seven feet. You know, Duke. Yeah, they lost to NC State to uh, have a short stay in the ACC tournament. But this is a Duke team that's seventh nationally in offensive efficiency, top 15 in three point shooting. Uh, top 40 in two-point shooting. And again, Vermont's defense has been solid from a percentage standpoint. Top 50 in three-point defense, 31st in two-point defense. But I think that's against a fairly weak schedule. I think those numbers are slightly inflated. I think this is a spot, a smash spot for Duke where they come in and they absolutely handle Vermont here. Like I said, depth is going to be a big issue for the Catamounts here. Normally, Vermont you know, is a team that I look at for an upset special. At this time of year, when you see them in the NCAA tournament, I just don't think I can get there with them this year. So I'm going to take uh, Duke in this one. I'm going to lay the big number, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.